Hello and welcome to a tutorial by Flip Clock Fans. Uh, this is uh, Mackie with uh, FlipClockFans.com. Uh, I'm the administrator of the form on the site. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a quick tutorial on disassembly of the RC6003 uh, I'm not going to take it all the way down. I'm just going to give you some pointers because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, f obviously, the first thing to do would be to take the two screws out here. This board, simply pry out. You see the tabs hold it in place, pry that comes right out. On the bottom, there's four screws that have to be taken out. After that, the tray will slide right out. But the stopping point people are having is this knobs. And yet, every one of the knobs has to come off for this to, to be accomplished. Every one of them except the switch does not come off. It, that does not have to come off. Um, so to make this happen, you have to pull straight out. What people are having problems with is these old clocks, they haven't been taken apart in a while, and they're afraid to pull. And you just need slow, steady pressure to pull these out. I've disassembled this one before, so it's not that hard. Pull straight out. Uh, here, sometimes we can have problems getting a hold of that, so sometimes i found that if you can get this one out a little bit, maybe, uh, that, like I said, that came right out. But if you, if you get a hold of that one a little bit, pull it out and then pull this one out and then follow with this one. If you have trouble, and I'm acting like I'm having trouble, you get your, my favorite tool is the famous butter knife. And then I like to use just a piece of paper towel to get up under here and to um, pry this out. So I'm trying not to mar the surface. So I'm just going to give some gentle uh, prying with this knife to get that out. This. Generally, you don't have to do any prying, but if you can get a hold of it, pull straight up. Again, it's just straight up. And this one too, same same there. And again, to pry it up, uh, you just want to get up under there. Uh, try not to mar your surface, of course. Uh, and then take your time. There's no hurry. If you're having trouble, I would go around, pry here. Uh, slow, steady pressure is what, and straight up is going to win the day here. And once it starts to move, again, pull straight up. Once all these knobs are off, it's a simple matter of pulling it out. Uh, as far as cleaning and stuff, um, this one's actually fairly clean. Uh, my problem area with this would be the, the chromed paint has, has come up. But this is a good quality front piece. It's actually better than the later models. Because in the later models, uh, the plastic seems to be softer and will scratch easier. Uh, they've glued this in place, so uh, to clean that, I like to use ammonia on the back side of it. Straight ammonia works really good. Slosh that around a bit, and then uh, soapy, warm soapy water followed by a regular rinse. Then I like to follow that by distilled water and shake it out and let it air dry, and you don't have any. You have a really nice clean situation, as you can probably see there. So that's the disassembly. Uh, Reassembly's uh, the reverse, of course. Um, just be a little careful and, and don't be forcing things down. If it doesn't go in right away, do not force. Take your time uh, and push it on gently. Um, if there's any if you have any questions, um, please come by uh, flipclockfans.com. Uh, Check out the form. There's a, a place you can sit there and answer, ask questions, answer questions people have, and share your experience with flip clocks. Uh, thanks a lot and hope to see you at flipclockfans.com.